Hey guys, and welcome to the Vex Project. And if you've seen this before, welcome back to the Vex Project. Today we're looking at the Bugera Veyron T. In our last video, we looked at it as a preamp. And today we're going to be working with the knobs and the XLR DIN2R Tascam US 1200 interface. All signals dry. And we're just going to be messing around with these uh, buds on the front, the uh, EQ channel. I always keep the compressor on, but we can turn it off just for this. Let's hope we don't end up with any peaking. We're just gonna be playing the same riff over so you can hear the difference. Compressor on. This is a compressor pretty much off but clicked on. We're gonna roll it to nine o'clock. o'clock. You can notice now that the volume has dropped significantly. Three o'clock. Volume is really gone. We're going to turn up the interface to match that volume. I wouldn't recommend turning it up this high, but I guess we'll go all the way for the sake of the video. So we're gonna crank this back. Turn down our interface volume. That's always around where I'd like to keep it. To keep things nice and tight. So as you can notice, my volume is all the way up and that's because if I turn it down any lower, I'll be pulling gain from my interface to try and match a good input volume which will just raise a noise floor and make 
it'll make all that background you heard when I turned the compressor up readily apparent, and that's not good for tracking. And the gain, it's pretty much connected directly to the volume. If you look here, we have a red light. That's our clipping, and then we have our minus 15, which I don't really use even though I have an active bass. If you turn your gain up, all it does is push the front end harder, which I can try even more for you there. And you can see, hitting those two notes at the same velocity versus it's just forcing the tubes to work harder, which is giving you a more driven sound. That's gross. So let's mess around with our actual EQ pots. So this is everything at 12 with our 2.5K accented, I guess. Pretty clear. So let's uh, cut some mids here right at 9 o'clock. Sorry about messing that up. So we heard that with a 2.5K accented in the mid-range. Let's see what it sounds like with a 220 accented in the mid-range. So let's cut that back and listen to our low frequency changes. Now we're gonna mess with our treble knob. Mm-hmm. 
This is kind of close to where I typically keep it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.